Hey, Teffin here from Retro PC Gamers, and in this, this episode, we will be using this power supply here and uh, showing you how you can test an ATX power supply with just a simple multimeter, um, preferably a digital one. And uh, this is just disclaimer, this is just a test on whether it can put out the voltages uh, required for each of the lines. This is not the test on whether it can actually support the amperage loads of those different voltages. For that, you're going to want to look into buying a half decent quality power supply tester, preferably from uh, a reputable brand or something like that. Don't go with those cheap um, garbage ones. So, yeah. Nonetheless, uh, I do have to mention that this video is brought to us by Teffens Tech. Uh, I'd like to thank Teffens Tech for sponsoring this old power supply here. And um, also check out uh, TeffensTech.com. Uh, lots of great footage on there. Lots of awesome uh, videos and stuff from this awesome great guy uh, named Teffen that uh, does different tech content. Yeah. Okay, that was not weird. <laughs> not at all. I sponsored myself. Did that sound dirty? I hope not. Anyways, nonetheless, I do digress. I'm sure some people know where that comes from. If you don't know where that uh, comes from, ask Jay. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, well, you can start with this 24-pin connector here, and uh, you're going to need to you're gonna need to plug it in, and you're going to need to power it on, and I forgot my little piece of wire for doing that. So uh, excuse me while I uh, be right back. Wow, check that magic snap force power. There it is. I got it. I'm back something else eh? the power of video processing and editing <laughs> all right so you're gonna want to take this here and you're gonna want to take that and make it so the clip side is facing up and then you're gonna want to find this little green wire right there uh, you can tell from the camera and then you want to attach that with the black wire. Now see what I do is I'm smart and I don't mean to be insulting anyone else who uses a um, non-insulated just like paper clip or um, staple or something like that but I actually use an actual wire and just strip off a little bit on each side, twist it up and then put a bit of solder so it stays nice and solid and then this way in case you accidentally touch the area or things like that or whatever else not uh, you know there's there's no, nothing running through there at all even though it's like you know not enough to really be dangerous but you never know what could happen I mean something could have been screwed up inside of the power supply and uh, the wires crossed or connected inside of it that, that was connected to other wires or something right so nonetheless stick one into a black wire and one into the green wire. And there you go. Plug in your power supply while it's turned off. If it has a switch on the back, if it doesn't, then it doesn't. And it'll just start turning on automatically. And then turn it on. And um, that was not a good sign. Because we just turned it on and that fan is um, not spinning so damn we're looking at a most likely chance this is um, not uh, working so let's uh, test some voltages nonetheless and hop to it because it's got no fan to keep it cool so we'll just stick the black into one of the negatives or not the negative but one of the, the grounds here and then you got your 
red is your 5 volt, orange is 3.3, .3, and yellow is 12. So let's test the yellow. Okay, we got nothing on the 12. And uh, pretty much nothing on the 5. And yeah, pretty much nothing on the 3.3. .3. So uh, yeah, that's that's not looking good. All right, we're gonna remove the uh, power on. Yeah, each time I go to power it on, I get the tiniest bit of electricity going through to the fan for like a tenth of a second and then nothing so yeah Ooh, and now we're getting a terrible smell out of this thing so we're just gonna shut that off before we get a house fire or something and we're gonna go stick that out on the patio for uh, safety purposes in case it is already on fire in there so yeah i gotta end this video quick uh, make sure to check out retropcgamers.com uh teffinstech.com and oh well you're at it check out teffin.ca and uh thank you very much for watching uh, subscribe like follow comment uh, and all the other whatever else not there is heart and yada yada all right have a varied happy day